Today I have the distinct pleasure of interviewing Bruce Reed. And of course, Bruce, you're now with Bunker Hill Mining and this is a brand new project. Why don't you start by explaining to us what Bunker Hill Mining is? Bunker Hill is one of the most storied and historical mines in American history. It uh, was discovered in the 1880s, went into production in 1885, uh, produced for nearly 100 years, went out of production because of its uh, lead smelters, uh, was shut down by the EPA, uh, nothing to do with the mine, but it just had to do with their smelters. Uh, it's been shut down since 1981. I've been trying to buy it for 20 years, and it finally came my way. I heard you in a presentation say that you were speaking to another associate when he said, go get the bunker. I, that resonated with me. Tell me a little bit more about that. A gentleman approached me with uh, a shell company, and uh, he'd been talking to me for about two, two and a half years. And uh, he, um, he kept suggesting that I should join his company, and I kept rebuffing him. And uh, finally last year, when I was free of all my other companies, he said, what's it going to take to get your attention? And I said, go get the bunker. Well, he got the bunker, so I joined him. Well, speaking of attention, already Investor Intel members, this is right out of the gate. This is a brand new story, and I don't know if you've ever heard right time, right place, but that's how I heard Christopher Ecclestone when he did a buy recommendation. You already got a buy recommendation out of the gate. Can Absolutely. you tell us what he means by this? What he means is this is the largest lead zinc silver deposit, producing or not producing, in the Americas. It uh, produced nearly 36 million tons of high-grade high, high grade lead and zinc and silver through 96 years. It had 60 million tons, nearly double what they had produced for 100 years, still sitting inside the mountain. Well, he put $3.10 long by recommendation on you, and when I called and told you that, you said, that's cheap. It is. Um, if I'm sitting around and looking at uh, companies of our type, you've got... Um, if you want to call valuations on zinc, either producers or not producers, your zinc, um, your, your, your zinc stories that aren't in production right at the moment trade at roughly one cent a pound of zinc in the ground. We're trading at about half a cent a pound in the ground. Um, and we believe we can get this into production relatively quickly within the next 12 to 18 months. And producers trade at 14 cents a pound of zinc in the ground. So on that basis, I'm hoping that the market takes hold of what it is we're saying and um, rewards the stock price. Zinc, of course, is currently known as the magic metal. We'll be doing a series of interviews over the next couple of weeks with analysts highlighting zinc. Can you tell me why the market is taking such an interest in this metal? The real reason is because so, many, um, so much production has been lost in the last 10 years. Just unfortunate, some situations where they ran out of production, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, production got uh, too, uh, too expensive and they shut down. Um, but we've lost something like 15 to 20 percent of zinc production just in the last three or four years. And the pipeline hasn't been filled up. There are a number of stories where they're looking at production, but they're probably seven or eight years out. And as a result, the total resources or the total inventories of uh, zinc, both zinc metal and zinc concentrates, is extremely low right at the moment. So out of the gates with this, with the Bunker Hill mine, in essence, what should we as uh, shareholders anticipate over the next couple of quarters? We'll be doing um, an updated 43101 on the project, so there'll be a, quite a bit of underground drilling and sampling. Uh, we'll also be bringing a full mining, uh, mining plan to the market to show how we actually intend to uh, uh, mine the project. And we'll be discussing with a number of uh, um, uh, mills that are in the area that currently aren't being used in terms of getting some sort of a contract with them to be able to toll our uh, material through them. I'd like to recommend that everyone in Investor Intel check out Bunker Hill Mining. Additionally, we'd like to know what you think of zinc. Thank you so much for joining us today, Thank Bruce. Thank you very much, Tracy.